What is the provision of Islam about blood donation? Provisions for sale and purchase of blood, blood is part of the human body. One of the accessories of a healthy body. After leaving the body it is impure. Transfusion of one person's blood into another's body is prohibited under normal circumstances. For two reasons, one every part of man is respected. What distinguishes humans from other animals? Blood is preserved by Almighty Allah. Therefore, this respected and protected human part is separated from the special body and added elsewhere is contrary to human dignity, to garlija, deep impurity, with blood impurity. And the use of unclean things is not lawful. This provision is to be observed in normal times. However, as a special provision of Islam for a special time, exceptionally, all the permissions, permissible principles, are subject to the conditions, in the context of special needs, the reviews presented by the learned jurists on the use of blood are, 1, it is like a woman's milk. The milk that comes out of one's body without any distortion and tearing becomes part of another's body. Like blood and milk, it is taken out of one's body and placed in another's body without any cutting or distortion. Islamic Sharia prescribes women's milk as the main food for babies. And giving the child to drink mother's milk is not only permissible, but it has been made natural wajib, indispensable, for the mother. Fukahe Karim has made women's milk permissible for adult medicine. In Fatwa Alam Jairai, it is mentioned that there is no harm in entering a man's nose or drinking a woman's milk as a medicine. Note that blood is a part of the human body. And milk is also part of the human body. As such, comparing blood to milk would not be a far-fetched comparison. In the light of this ruling, Islamic Sharia has made it permissible to consume milk based on the needs of another person, for the child, even though it is a part of one person's body. So it is permissible to push one's blood into another's body based on need, too, although the blood is Nazisait Galija, deeply impure, it is permissible to perform medical work with impure things in special cases. The Quran also upholds the principle of using haram or impure things during exceptional circumstances. For a person who is dying of hunger and thirst, the Sharia has made it not only permissible, but essential, to save his life by using haram substances. In such a critical situation, instructions have been given to save life even if you eat blood, pork, dead animals. As mentioned, he, Allah, has forbidden to you, dead animals, blood, the flesh of pigs, and those animals which are sacrificed in the name of anyone other than Allah the Exalted. Of course, there is no sin for one who becomes selfless, and is not prone to crime and transgressors. Indeed, Allah is most forgiving, most merciful. Surah Baqarah 173, appropriate verses of the Holy Quran permit the use of haram substances for essential purposes. But the condition is that it must be essential and one cannot eat more than the required amount. Regarding the use of haram substances, Fatwa Alam Jairai states that it is permissible to use haram drugs for a sick person. When the experienced doctor says, surely the treatment of this disease is not possible without those haram drugs, yes, when it is finally proved that the treatment by halal drugs is not possible, then the haram drugs will be substituted. Fatawa Alam Jairai, 5-355 The written points should be kept in mind while giving blood to a sick person who needs the blood of others. 1. When a sick person is in danger of dying and in the opinion of an experienced doctor there is no way to save him except by infusing the blood of another. 2. When blood transfusion is required. That is, there is no fear of the death of the sick person, but without giving blood, the risk of his life increases or the recovery is delayed, in these cases it is necessary to give blood, 3, when the patient's body does not have a great need for blood transfusion, but there is an opportunity not to give blood, then blood transfusion should be avoided, 4, donation of blood is not permissible in Islamic Sharia when there is no danger of loss of life and delaying of illness but only for increasing strength and beauty, provisions for sale and purchase of blood, selling blood is not allowed. But on the basis of which the first surah states that it is permissible to give blood, if the blood is not available for free, then it is permissible to buy blood for it. However, 
It is not permissible to take the blood price for the one who gives blood. Jawahiral Fiqh, 238, ruling on transferring the blood of a non-Muslim into the body of a Muslim, it is permissible to transfer the blood of a non-Muslim into the body of a Muslim. There is no difference in the blood of Muslims and non-Muslims, but it is clear that Kafir and Fasek have evil and reprehensible effects by nature. There is a fear that the evil nature of the non-Muslim is transferred to the Muslim's nature and character through blood. That is why who disliked the milk of a sinful woman for the child. So in view of these harms, non-Muslims should refrain as much as possible from taking blood. Jawahiro Fikba, 2 of 40 Provisions of blood donation by husband and wife to each other, as with other relatives, it is permissible for the blood of the husband to enter the body of the wife, and the blood of the wife to enter the body of the husband. This will not affect the marriage. Marital relations will remain as usual. Because, a certain age is required for the maram relationship to be established through milking. And the age of maram to establish relationship by drinking milk is two and a half years. So, just as a woman's drinking milk after two and a half years does not establish maram, similarly the relationship of maram is not established between husband and wife by receiving and giving blood. Jawahiro Fiqh, 2 of 40